Morning Chargers. I'm James. And I'm Maggie. And we are your hosts this morning for Monday, September 11th, 2023. Today on our calendar, we have a 9-11 ceremony at 8.40 a.m. We have our freshman in JV football playing at Topeka West against Leavenworth today. We have a girls JV tennis duel versus Shawnee Heights High School at Crossover at 4 p.m. We have our boys soccer taking on Topeka High at Humber Sports Park. Our girls C-team volleyball triangular at Topeka West at 5 o'clock. And we have our Topeka West High School site council meeting in the leadership building at 5 o'clock. And now we're going to send it to Phoebe to see what it is for lunch today. Today for lunch, we're having either corn dog with celery sticks or a chicken fajita wrap. Thank you, Phoebe, for that update. Let's check out the sports agenda for today. Today, come support your boys' charges at Commerce Sports Park as they play Topeka High, JV at 4.30 and Varsity at 6.15. Hey James, did you know we have our first home football game this week? Yeah, we also have our freshman tailgate coming up. Let's check out this video from Link Crew for some more information. The freshman tailgate is this Friday, September 15th. And the theme is Purple Out. It's going to be so much to do. We're going to have food, games, a photo booth, and face paint. Who are we playing? Just at a high school. Where is it at? It's at Hummer Sports Park on the soccer side at 5 o'clock. The most amount of students that show up get a surprise. Be there or be there. Thank you, Linker Leaders, for that update. Remember, freshmen, all the cool kids go to the tailgate. Let's see what's going on in the library with our reporter, Allison. Okay, hi, it's Allison. Um, I'm in the library right now and I found a book recommendation for you guys today. So this is The Naturals by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. I really like this book because it's kind of like, it reminds me of like Scooby-Doo in a way. Like there's like four different um, teenagers and they're basically just solving crimes throughout their city. So yeah. Um, something that I like about the library is just how peaceful and quiet it can be throughout like all your classes. You find a lot of things here. There's piano lessons, there's chess games. Um, we're gonna be opening the coffee shop soon. They're so pretty. Just plenty of books to read throughout here. If you need to have somewhere to study, um, there's plenty of things here for that. If you need a computer, if your computer's dead or something, we have plenty of gears here. Um, if you just wanna chill here with your friends, that's also a nice, quiet place to have. I do know that it's open um, 30 minutes before school starts and 30 minutes after school. So if you're trying to come in before or after school, that's the best time to do it. Um, they offer a bunch of different books here between science fiction, fiction, non-fiction. If you're looking for like manga or like anime or even um, different types of graphic novels, we have them all through here. If you're looking for like study books and references for certain classes, they also have those as well. Um, and then if you're just looking for a good read, I recommend some of the fiction novels. I do recommend the Naturals one. It's a good start. So yeah. Thank you for that update, Allison. Hey Maggie, do you know what else happens in the library? Campus visits? Let's send it to Joy to see who's visiting our campus this week. This week, Wichita State University will be in the library during seminar on Tuesday, September 12th. There will be an AccuPlacer test for Washburn Tech on Wednesday, September 13th. The Flint Hills Technical College will be here on Thursday, September 14th. If you are interested in attending, please check your senior and junior Google Classrooms for the Google form to sign up. You must be on the travel list in order to attend. Chargers! Tutoring has started and it's located in the library this year. Make sure to take a look at the schedule and stop by if you are needing any help or assistance in any of your courses. What's up guys? I'm Jordan. And I'm Emma. And we're going to be your hosts for this week. If you didn't know, this week is Suicide Prevention Week. And with the help of our amazing team and staff, we were able to cover a variety of topics. Now this isn't something you just watch on the announcements. We want you to participate. For example, today's theme was Wear Green for Mental Health Awareness. And tomorrow's theme is Wear Pink for Gratitude. You can participate by showing your support wearing the color for each day. Speaking of Suicide Prevention Week, what is suicide awareness? That's what we asked Miss Becky in Seabilly. Question is, why is suicide prevention important to have in schools? 
It's very important because it's a very, very busy community here. We need to make sure that um, any student knows who they can talk to and who they can talk to. Thanks so much, Ms. Becky, for allowing us to talk to you and explaining why suicide awareness is important to have. And don't forget, tomorrow is Wear Pink for Gratitude. Well, that's, that's all for today, Chargers. See you tomorrow. Good morning. I was all alone with the love of my life. She's got glitter for skin, my radiant beam in the night. I don't need no light to see you shine. That's it for today, Chargers. Have a great day.